Uh, Fox News alert on this Friday morning. This morning, both Donald Trump and the Biden team agree on only one thing that matters, and that is the November election. Well, recent polls showing Trump's verdict makes no difference to a lot of voters. Our next guest is a Democrat who is warning his party this verdict could actually help Donald Trump. Democratic pollster and former Clinton advisor Mark Penn joins us right now. From Mark, good morning to you. Good morning. Uh, on this Friday morning, waking up after this uh, conviction, a lot of Republicans are absolutely, uh, essentially infuriated. And now they are the, the one thing that actually nothing's going to stop them between now and November. Well, I think that's what this verdict has done. It's like a lightning bolt, you know, into American politics in the sense that it's, I think, more likely to awaken the Republican electorate than do anything for the Democratic electorate, which already didn't like Donald Trump. I mean, for the 40 percent that really didn't like Trump and was energized against him, I don't really think it does much. For the Republican electorate, I think you see a wave of money and support all closing in. Because, look, does it make sense to convict someone of 37 felonies over a personal incident that happened in 2006 that was supposed to control the election of 2016, it obviously doesn't make sense. Yeah, it certainly does ignite the Republican base. Uh, but it, it's curious that you say it doesn't really unite the Democrats, they, because, as you said, um, they didn't like him to start with. But what about the independents, Mark? I think the independents don't like the circus of the trials. I think the independents are concerned about inflation, immigration, crime, abortion, some climate change. They care about the issues. They're going to vote on what makes their lives better or worse. And they are, and while the bases are energized by this kind of stuff, I, I think that really the, the center is going to vote on the issues. All right. Uh there, uh, the Biden team posted to X, formerly Twitter, there's only one way to keep Donald Trump out of the Oval Office at the ballot box. Donate to our campaign today. That is one thing they are united on. They are both uh, raising money through the roof, both sides. Well, look, I, I think the ballot is the place to let the voters decide, not the jurors, not the criminal justice system. I've always been against criminalization in, in politics. If I were the Biden camp, I wouldn't say a word about this. I'd let Donald Trump fight the justice system. The, the more the Biden camp politicizes it, the more it right. boomerangs. And in fact, I think it was Ian Sams, who's uh, one of the special counsels to the president yesterday, said, we respect the rule of law and we'll have nothing else to say about it. However, Mark, on Monday, the Hunter Biden trial starts in Delaware. Uh, what's your observation about that? How's that going to impact voters? Well, as much as Hunter Biden goes around saying he's innocent, uh, he is one of the most disliked people in America, with almost a three to one negative rating. Look, I don't think this trial is going to have a big impact on politics. I think it probably will affect the president personally more than anything else. They have carefully crafted this trial to be about a gun charge, which President Biden obviously had nothing to do with. So consequently, I think it's a it's another sideshow here, and Americans just will continue to get dispirited that that everything is about putting everybody in jail instead of making their lives better. Yep. Excellent question. Uh, I know the election is not for a couple hundred and a half days, but if the election were held today, Mark, who would win? Well, I know that the election were held yesterday. <laughs> Trump was definitely ahead, and he was winning across all the swing states. Uh, and the and the Biden camp had just kind of challenged him into a debate, I think, to try to be a game changer. How this is going to change things? I don't think it's going to change things. Yeah. But we've never actually been here before. Nope. We don't know what this week or two will look like. You know, Donald Trump will get to play victim and try to fight back strongly. Uh, no question before this verdict, he was ahead on all counts, on job approval, on personal favorable, on the key issues. Will this derail his campaign or take him down? So far, none of these legal things have. Looks unlikely. We're going to have to see what the voters say. As we say in TV, stay tuned. Mark Penn, thank you very much for joining us, sir. Thank you. All right. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmeade. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.